Hey, what's up everyone? What I really don't like is the definition they give for Mandela Effect on Google as a false memory. Now, I get the fact that in uh, it's even that seems a little early for me, 2010 even, but I remember 2016. But it, to me the definition false memory you're you're going down a slippery slope when you start defining everything as a as a false memory to me that's a that's a slippery that's a slippery slope because when you start defining everything as a false memory you've got millions on one side who remember one thing and then you've got lesser ones that remember what we do but given the fact that even um, even even a large group of people who remember something that never met each other should still be considered credible. And what really kind of annoys me is that science doesn't even use this phenomenon as a way to further their research. That's something that that annoys me. Now, one thing that actually frustrated... One thing that actually... Uh, I'm not affected by, not frustrates, I shouldn't say, that I'm not affected by is the Flintstones change. That never did change for me. But I can vividly remember being in elementary school and seeing the Berenstain Bears being Berenstain Bears with an EI. I can vividly remember that. I've got memories of places changing on me, and I have memories of uh, just various landscapes changing. Just like uh, when I went to the Skecher store, and... For Christmas, we got these Skechers shoes. I can remember the tea. We still have the box because we used the shoe box to put some things in. There's no tea on it. What really is annoying is how you can go through a long stretch of, of time throughout your life, for example, and something exists like Cheese Whiz or... The phrase, um, Houston, we've had a problem, and then it flip-flops. Finally, back to the way we remember Houston, we have a problem. But, then again, there's people out there who say, oh, who cares? Even though they experience it, they say, who cares? I don't want to think about it. Yeah, it can drive you crazy a little bit, but... I mean, how can you say... How can you honestly say, who cares, to something so groundbreaking? to something so phenomenal that exceeds the current understanding, I don't want to say of consciousness, but of, of, of what, the, what we understand reality to be. I don't know. I don't know how people can ignore it. It's such a deep phenomenon. And I'm sure none of us would ever have thought that it would have stretched to such a far level. Someone I think you should really watch is Russell Brand. I think his interview with Bill Maher, where it was really fascinating because Russell, because Russell Brand is spiritual. Bill Maher is not. And he went, he mentioned the glory of the light, the glory of the Lord. And he said, I know you're an atheist. Don't recoil, don't recoil, recoil, Bill. I know you're an atheist, but that's what these chairs have... <laughs> It was really funny. It really was. And seeing those two converse was really funny. It's always funny to watch Russell Brand. His IQ is very intelligent, and he's always very funny as well. But when you have something that has been a staple in your mind for so long, like Cheese Whiz... But then you all of a sudden exist in a reality where there's a gap where it didn't exist from 2015 to 2017. Cheese Whiz all of a sudden apparently was no longer in existence for us. But yet in the reality we were in for that period of time, it didn't exist at all through that reality's entire history. The entire history. Cheese Whiz, non-existent. That entire time we were in that reality. The world around us at that time. 
however this phenomenon works. And you've got Cheese Whiz that didn't exist at all. I'm talking it just didn't exist. And for me, I'm the only one who's experienced the Depends flip-flop. I saw it on a commercial. I recorded, then it was gone. Never again. But the Cheese Whiz, the, um, my brain is dead right now, but there's just so many of them that were no longer existent. And then, boom, you pop up all of a sudden, once again, during that time frame, now. They've always been existent again. <clears throat> now, one theory that I had years ago, actually when this first started, is that you've got, you know, something's messing with the times and laws, first of all, just like prophecy stated, but that was not a very good uh, drawing there. But one theory that I had right away, and my device did not want to let me make this, by the way, so, it did not let me make the video, which implied to me that I was on to something. I said, you've got Universe A, Universe B, and an infinite number of other ones. But then you've got Person 1, 2, and 3. And then, in each reality, by the way, I put them in separate. I put them backwards on each, you'll notice. And they say, they say there's three people. There's three people. This person's consciousness shifts, and so does that one, back to that universe. This person's consciousness shifts over to that one, that one shifts, but you've got one here and here that remain the same. So they didn't shift, so they're like, they're unaffected. The reality's the same for them. But are you with the same version of the person you were with before? Is their consciousness the same? And what, what of the people, what of the people, what about the people who I've talked to, I've spoken to, who are no longer existent? They're non-existent. I can't find them. They're not in my email contacts. They're not in, they're not on my channel. They're not subscribed to me. They don't have a channel. Boom. It's like the time I was in school and they said this person that was going to uh, do a speech at school, they suddenly just said, I don't know what happened to them. They're just like non-existent. It's like they fell off the face of the earth. She said, I can't find them. Maybe they shifted. Maybe we shifted at that time. But you've got all these people shifting, all these things that happen. And there's no telling how many times it happens. And you could be holding the very book or very object that another version of you held. Your consciousness could be in the body of an alternate version. Theoretical physics should be looking at this and going wild with it. They should have a field day with it, as I say. The field day is a strange term, but when I was in school, elementary school, that that that, that term, they didn't, make, they maybe not like that term, but there was an old, you know, that's an old adage, an old statement. But they should be having a field trip, I guess. They should be having a huge, huge day with this. But they don't utilize it to further their studies. It makes no sense to me. Maybe there's something sinister behind it, but it's deep. And this radio show was talking about it and helping people go through shifts, and the father was watching and listening to it on the radio, and he said, it's deep, it's complicated, apparently. I said, yes, it is. My mama said, man, it's, it's crazy. It's not crazy as in, like, she doesn't believe it. It's just that... And there are people out there that really don't believe it, but there are also people out there that believe it, and they know it exists, but they don't want to think about it or acknowledge it. That's what boggles me. But you pick up an object. Yeah, it could be the, the object that the body you're in picked up all this time, but not the one this, that your consciousness that's in this body picked up. You're not, you might not be living in the same place that your soul or consciousness lived in. And I feel that my soul is from... Well, I'll get into that for another video. I just feel... But I feel I've been put here to also bring light and help people. But 
I don't know how I'll do that, but I'll eventually do that, hopefully. But you'd think that they would be looking into this and furthering, further advancing their studies and using this as possible evidence. Why are they not doing that? We all remember the monocle on the Monopoly Man. We all remember the Berenstain, I mean Berenstain Bears. We all remember these things. <laughs> we all remember them. Vividly. Just like on the Dick Cavett show. Many people said they, man, that must have been hard when you had a heart attack on the show. And he said, we didn't air that. And they said, but no, no, we saw it. And he said, these people could pass a polygraph test saying they saw it, even though it didn't air in the world around us. There's so many examples. <laughs> anyway, I do believe there also to be a major spiritual aspect to this phenomenon as well. But, I'll get into all of that in another video. Peace. Signing out. I love you all more than you'll ever know. Feel free to give your own thoughts on all of this. And uh, cheers to a good, a good Sunday. I pray for a good, calm, happy, peaceful Sunday. I love you all. Signing out. I wanted to do a live stream, but I didn't do that after all. I don't know why, but I just didn't. But, peace everyone. I'll do one soon. Let me know if you'd like a live stream soon. Maybe Wednesday. Oh, my forecast did turn out 100%. Back from August, September, October, November, and now December. I did, I did it all in one video back in August, and it's all come true. So, anyway, signing out. Let me know if you'd like a live stream, and which day would be best for you. Signing out.